Hey guys, uh, I just want to do a quick little five or six minute video here. Um, out here getting ready for all my new stuff. And, or getting all my new stuff together. Getting ready for the Watts Bar Tournament. So, uh, I went by BJ's Custom Lures, picked up some stuff from them. I want to show you what I got. Um, he's got some cool stuff out right now. He may make some custom spinner baits, which I love, by the way, Blake. If you see this, y'all are awesome. Um, let me show you this stuff. And, uh, well, let me show you this stuff. No good light. There we go. <laughs> See, I got a table full of stuff. Let me show you this stuff, and, uh, we'll get on it. Um, I hope y'all like it. Uh. Some of the stuff is great. I mean, great. All right, so, first up, we got the bait ball. Little spinner bait style. It's got uh, two small ball heads on it. With under, that's, uh, that's got underspins on it. It's really nice, but he figured something out. Sometimes it's hard to store these. Show you what he done if I can do it right now, right here with one hand. Hang on. So he put a split ring on your two wires. I hold your bait balls on. I can't do it with one hand. Sorry, sorry. And it normally sits. I'll use this finger to point. It normally sits right here when you're using it. When you're not using it. You can take that split ring and move it up and down here. If you do that and you've got that kind of spinnerbait box, it fits perfectly in there. It stores easy. Sorry, y'all. It stores easy that way. Um, great little idea. For the bait ball. It's almost like an A-rig. It actually works really well. Sometimes I leave the skirt on. Sometimes I take it off and just put a swim bait there. It's a great little bait. Um, uh, I got my jigs box done. And for the most part done. Let's go from this side here. A few swim jigs, jigs that he made with some hair in them, red, all my colors that I like to throw. Um, also picked up some chatterbaits from him, vibrator jigs, is, I believe what he calls it, the vibrator jig. I got black and blue and bluegill color. Um, I'm thinking the water's gonna be a little stained, those two will see pretty well, um, but. He's got a really, really good looking jig or really a vibrator jig. Um, nice big stout hook, beautiful colors. Let's switch hands here. About droppings, stout hook, pretty colors, flipping or skipping style head. Gives it a good little wobble. Um, that looks like it's black chrome blade. It uses a uh, split ring to hold it together. And you have a clip. You can put a split ring in there if you want to, I guess. But he has a clip holder. He also bends the lip there. And that way, whenever you're picking it up and starting with it, it start that thing vibrates and shimmies automatically. You ain't gotta sit and uh, jerk on it or anything. Um, these custom spinner baits, it's one of them things. They're only on if they're on them. They're on them. If they ain't, they ain't. Sorry, I know I'm everywhere with the camera, y'all. Apologize. Don't pay no attention to my mess behind me. Um, 
This is a plum red. I didn't put a big blade on it. Small Colorado blade. Um, the water is murky, dirty at all. Grass lakes especially. If they're on it, they're on it. If they ain't, they ain't. But he custom made that for me. Got a little bit of purple plum colored flake in it. Um, I love them. I had him make me two different sizes. Let me lay that back up here. And I also had him ordered a couple of his power blades. These things are wild looking, but they do work. A lot of people use them. Um, it's five wires. You got a blade on each one. So in muddy water especially, or stained water, makes it look like a school of bait fish. Ain't got a blade. And you put a skirt. This is the electric shad color. Good good looking bait I'm definitely gonna throw that take the place of an Alabama rig or something like that um, and lastly this is ledge jig same great great jig that he always makes good stout hooks um, I got the skirt all messed up right now great jig the quality you can't is second to none on all this stuff. But it has a flat side on the football head. See? What that does is, if I can get it to work right here, make sure y'all can see this mess. So, if I drop it, oh, skirt got in the way. If I drop it, it stands up on the bottom there. And I got cloth so it bounces around. But on the, in the water, you got to line a little tight. Normally, football jig, you pull it tight and it kind of stands up a little bit. Sorry, y'all couldn't see that. Football jig kind of stands up a little bit. This, you can, it'll stand up. You got your whatever creature bait, trailer, whatever you want to throw on it. And uh, y'all can see that there. That hook stands vertical. Makes your creature bait or your crawl trailer, um, especially if you got claws, makes them kind of stand up there a little better and more. Gives them a different look. Not everybody does a football jig like that. Um, it's a special jig he makes. It's called the wedge jig. All my jigs are from him, from BJ's, um, but I just wanted to share that with you. Um, sorry about the video moving and all that stuff. Little quick thing, um, check us out on Facebook at Wataga Basser. Um, we got a group page there, everybody talks, and uh, everybody talks and shows new stuff, shares videos they upload to Facebook, new stuff, um, what's going on with their fishing. Um, we're trying to get more, uh, yeah, trying to get more people in our group. Um, also, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you like the video or interested in any more BJ stuff, there's a link in the description box. Maybe not on this one, but on every other video, there's a link in the description box. Um, they're really good people, good price, great product. And uh, guys on Facebook watching this, man, get to talking a little more. Share all y'all's new stuff. I also want to share with y'all um, Academy, if you have one new you, the Mega Bass and Lucky Strike, Lucky Craft um, Jerk Bait. H2O has one now. Looks like the Mega Bass. Six dollars. So y'all go check all that stuff out. Have a good one. Fish every cast like it's your last. I'm out, y'all.